Welcome back to Adventuring with Angie. Last week I integrated some new learnings, I opened myself up to some new people and experiences, and I ushered in a new era for myself. This week I'm prioritizing me. I'm returning to some old hobbies, and I'm embracing this new way of living. Come with me as I deepen my movement practice, attempt to hang drywall, and create room for pleasure and joy. The fall came in so fast and cold that even though I can feel the change, I'm having a hard time accepting that we're actually deep into October. I feel like I just moved here, and yet the rush to prep for winter is real. And as the temperatures drop, I can't help but think of just how much I've changed. I've been feeling so incredibly supercharged lately, and entirely sure of myself in this form. Good morning! I had a date yesterday, and... This is like a genuine smile from it. <laughs> it's something I'm doing on these dates. It's like, I am kind of just experimenting. Like, I just wanna see how I respond in certain scenarios. I wanna see like what I'm comfortable with, what I'm excited by, what I'm turned off by, and just start like creating those new experiences moving forward because it, it is so crucial to do that. I find myself speaking with a calm clarity and fully trust that I know what I want and need. I'm getting back into my movement practices and creating opportunities to feel and strengthen my body. I absolutely love cooking throughout the week, trying new recipes, and returning to my favorites. And I'm happy to say that I'm pushing myself to go out, to meet people in real time, and start weaving myself into this community. There's a solar eclipse this week and a Friday the 13th. And while it's not quite yet Scorpio season, Mars is moving into Scorpio this week, and that's where my Mars is always set. I can safely say that I'm feeling the charge. I've been so much more attuned to the changes in our Earth and the energy around me. It's like I can hear and feel the most minute shifts within me, and I didn't even realize how my prior way of life was really drowning out my intuition in this connection. Good morning. It is raining. So, me and this butt are gonna be in the house all day together. Now that I can tap into this energy again, I can't imagine quieting it. And because I'm cultivating the practice in these woods, I really wanna sink into my home and create space to fully connect here. So much has changed since moving in six months ago and I hardly recognize the person I was before. I find myself unafraid to be vulnerable here and now, like this entire space is holding me. Every interaction with someone becomes an exercise in presence. I notice immediately when I wanna break or shift eye contact and I ask myself why. I stop and remind myself to breathe when I feel my breath catch in my chest Suddenly I'm deeply aware of what I'm feeling and I'm giving myself opportunity after opportunity to ground myself and move through any discomforts. Happy Wednesday! <laughs> Listen, I got home at like 2 in the morning last night and I'm not cut out for this. I had a really fun time. <laughs> I had a really fun time. Anyways, it's cold. What are we doing out here in a tank top right now? <laughs> After an unexpectedly fun night out, I woke up feeling energized for my day. I really love that I'm falling back into my movement practice and finding ways to move my body that feel good to me. Whenever I do yard chores, I kind of refer to it as the five acre boot camp. I treat the work as a workout just to make it fun for me and break a little sweat here and there. I spent some time splitting wood before indulging in a feast. What really happened was that I had a lot of food in the fridge that was about to go, so I really wanted to use it. Originally, I thought of making a soup with the bulk of these ingredients, or maybe even a quiche, but out of nowhere, I really wanted an entirely new flavor profile and decided to have a little bit of fun. I shredded the mushrooms and popped them in the air fryer to dry out a bit before sauteing them in a sweet and spicy, sticky sauce and put it all over some rice. Wow, oh wow, this was absolutely delicious, and I'd love to do it again with some veggies. The sauce on this oyster mushroom. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. I took the remaining ingredients and, to no one's surprise, made a roasted veggie ragu to enjoy later this week. Good morning. Look, I, Enzo, left this ooey gooey, sticky, icky, sweet spicy oyster sauce in my cast iron last night. Oh, let's clean it this morning. I have a dentist appointment and I have wood to chop. 
but I found this sweater in my closet and thought, when did I own this? Why have I never worn it? She's cute. And we're gonna braid hair later. We're doing a lot for a Thursday. Today's my chill, relax, do nothing day. Look how it's going. While I'd normally spend all day building, I put in a little work with Oval today before a much needed dentist appointment and a quiet night in. The ragu I made yesterday tasted so rich and flavorful. Oh my God, you guys, I seriously think I need to jar some of these sauces for the winter because each one comes out better than the last and I already wish I had more. I've been wanting braids for a while now, but I find it hard to commit to the time. We're doing it, we're doing it. Okay, my hair is parted for the most part. <laughs> And um, we're gonna start one corner at a time. All my bundles are drying and Lord, give me the strength because I'm already tired. <laughs> I'm actually going to a Halloween party tomorrow night and I just think braids would be fun. So this is a little extra motivation for me to get it done. I'm so tired. I finished all of my braids. I like to do something in the morning and just went to bed. It's nine though now and I'm up. I actually had a really hard time deciding what I wanted to dress as. I have been feeling a little spicy, a little attuned, and a little bit like a goddess these days. I forgot how much I love a fabric store. I ended up being the high priestess from the tarot deck, but with my own style and sacrilegious accessories. I really enjoyed putting this look together and ended up having an incredible night, meeting new people and getting to deepen some existing connections. I don't remember the last time I stayed out all night long, but it's safe to say I surprised myself and I would do it again. Good morning, happy Saturday. <laughs> We are about to do wood splitting and it's not the morning, I should be honest. It's like 1.30 p.m. It's 1, 2, 3 p.m. Wow. Last time I looked at the clock was last night at 1, 2, 3, 4 p.m. And today it's 1, no, 1, 2, 3, 4 a.m. And today it's 1, 2, 3, 4 p.m. Anyways, numbers. Um. Even though I didn't get home until 10 a.m., I still have work to do on the property. I plan to spend today splitting wood and with two of my friends, Kyle and Jared, visiting, we tackled it together. While I split, they moved wood down to the holders and after about four hours of work, we decided to grab some Thai food in town and call it a day. We all treated ourselves to a quiet morning Sunday and picked up some drywall in town for an afternoon adventure. Okay, so I've mentioned the amazing bonus room attached to my bedroom, but it is still unfinished. I got a quote back from a contractor and it was $13,000, which is just way, way, way too much for a small room with drywall. It turns out drywall is really heavy, but that's okay because in the process of doing it, it's like a light went on for me. Instead of trying to replicate something outside of my means, why not do something entirely different? I decided I'm gonna use the drywall I bought for the walls. And for the ceiling, I'm actually gonna do a tongue and groove board that I can install myself. I still struggle with my own limiting beliefs that sort of trap me in situations and I think I'm stuck with it. I really stressed about how to close this wall up before winter, but realizing I can literally cover the ceiling with whatever I want, it's opening all these new ideas for building and in life in general. I mulled over all these thoughts while cooking some creamy roasted squash for a pasta sauce and a delicious apple cake with apples from the yard. I couldn't think of a better way to close this week. Thank you so much for joining me on another week of adventures. If you enjoyed this week, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Next week, I'm exploring a weekly event that's loved by locals. I'm revisiting some more former hobbies and I'm finding myself in Oakland to receive a friend. I can't wait to share more and I'll see you next week. Bye.